Oh yeah, sexy biscuits. Nice. This is cannon fodder. I'm running on my A500 Mini, but it's the Amiga CD32 version. So anyway, gonna have to skip this, because listen to this. How good were samples on the Amiga, mind? I mean, absolutely how good were samples? So I wanna say this was released in what, 92, 93 by Virgin, but it's developed by Sensible Software, so you know it's good. I have never played this, and it is generally considered to be a classic. I have no idea what I'm doing other than is it a screen by screen clearing game? Obviously the phrase cannon follow means expendable. Basically you're uh you're you're meat you're for the you're for the meat grinder. So um yeah so you have a bunch of people on screen as long as one of them survives I'm guessing this then you progress to the next screen or area I should say and then you have a bunch of recruits which would be your lives. I could be wrong. We have a load option and we have a save option and we have home and away. No idea what that is. One can only assume, um, these are my recruits then I'm guessing, that's, is that a two player thing? So anyway, this was released primarily for the Amiga but then got ported to absolutely bloody everything. There's a 3 do version. I should uh, download that actually. And there's a Mega Drive version. Obviously there's an Atari ST version as you would expect and a DOS version. Yeah. Yeah, came out on pretty much everything and there was a bunch of sequels and then don't, doesn't it end up like sci-fi and stuff I don't know and it's essentially point and click when you play it with a um, joystick or a mouse obviously I'm playing it with I could play it with a joystick but I'm playing it with a mouse essentially it plays exactly the same way I don't know what difference the CD32 version has other than a, a soundtrack uh, over the original but I'm assuming they, that's what they've done is the CD32 they were lazy as fuck just bang in a soundtrack and we'll release it right so anyway Skip, 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 skip to the end. Mission one, the sensible initiation. There's no actual music in game, so I apologize for the background noise, but hey, trust me as a day sleeper, it sucks for me living on the uh, busiest road in the West Country. Phase one of one, it's a jungle out there. Briefing with two soldiers, you must kill all enemy. 13 recruits remaining. So that's my lives for this mission, and I have two soldiers to do it. Fire. The ambient noise is epic. Watch this. Small screen, big screen, small screen, big screen. But when you go small, you get to see more of the map. I'm going with big screen because that's a worry. Uh, jobs and jewels. That's my blokes, isn't it? And then you go, you press fire and you go where the arrow is. You press B and you. Oh! Obviously, line of sight helps there, Dave. Then you get. Yeah, your cursor. Where you can spew death. Have to clear this screen of the, you know, however many bad guys there are. Listen to this. Also, boom. I don't, I don't know. Is that the characters? We'll see. Heroes and Victory, Mission One. So we got some brass then. We got some brass. Jewels. Jobs. So I'm guessing that's the characters. Hey. I don't know. It's two stripes. I don't know. Skip, 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 skip to the end. Home, three, away, zero. So yeah, I, I'm guessing, I don't, I don't know. This is genuinely the first time I've ever played it. Right, so Jules has killed three people. Now we have three people. Um, then, yeah, they've killed no one. So is there a leveling up thing we should be aware of here? Right, mission two, onward virgin soldiers. Come on. Mission two, phase one of two, bridge over the river of high. I see what you did there, I see what you did there. Briefing, with three soldiers you must kill all enemy. 27 recruits remaining, go for it, right. Um, so, I'm him. I'm gonna be him, because he's a private. Are you a private? I don't know, I don't know. Right, so yeah, I'm assuming there's a leveling up thing. And then we go back. What's interesting, Oh, I don't know. Can you shoot the birds? You get bonuses and shit. 
Right, I love the noise. Hang on. So what's cool, because you're not actually sort of moving them in direct real time in the sense that you press left, you go left, you press right, up, down, etc. But if you press them to go here and then select your cursor, you can obviously, you, you don't blindly walk in and wait for them to start firing at you and shit. You can have, a, you know, you can navigate and then lay down some uh, hot stinking lead love, if you will. I just probably got to go up there, haven't I? Because, you know, bridge over the river pie. And that's a bridge. Right, okay, so yeah. Um, does it tell you how many people are remaining? No, it doesn't. I could see that that might get irritating. I don't know. I don't know how big the levels get. And then maybe, you know, obviously you you miss someone. You get a straggler. I do like the blood. Early 90s blood. I think it's the same as regular blood, to be fair. Right, can I shoot you? I want to shoot you. No. That's a wasted opportunity. Right, where am I going? I just I can go in the water then. That's that's good to know. Um, so apparently I'm missing a straggler already. Quicker on land, that would make sense. I'm just a recruit. I ain't no specialist GI Joe and shit. We're realistic kung fu action and grip. Anyone up sure? Yes. I don't know what I was waiting for. Christmas apparently. Oh. Right. Who else? I can't believe I'm on level two and I've already can't find someone to shoot. I'm going down char. You can probably turn the music on, to be fair. I just don't know how you do it. Oh, I don't want to fuck around with the virtual keyboard. Right. That noise. So there's quite a big area you have to go then, and this is just right at the start. Phase complete. Party time. Listen to phase two. Trust enemy HQ. Brief and kill all enemy. Destroy enemy buildings. Uh, so, uh, so this is the second part of that mission. I was wondering why it wasn't telling what brass I don't. Right. I guess we just pick a direction and go for it. Because you're blind to the level, aren't you? I'm going to... Well, actually, I don't know. Have I upgraded yet? People. This is what I mean, right? Select a person to go there, and then as soon as they hit that part of ground, I get my crosshair up, wait for them to get out of the way of the bush, and I can blow the bad guy's tits off without having to worry about getting shot. I've got range. I'm too deep to fire! I've lost a bloke, man down. I don't know. I don't know how. Why I couldn't fire. I'm confused. Is it because I was in a drink? Obviously, you want to stay on land as much as possible because. Yeah, I'm t I can't fire. I guess. I guess my weapons. Yeah, uh, my weapons submerged. So that's why I couldn't fire. Is that a bad guy? I don't know what that is. I'm going this way. I'm going over sure. So presumably, yeah. So that guy down over there. But I have to go the long way around. Ah, you can't just... I do like the gun noises. Just click. You sometimes, because of the way the train goes, then you have to get a little bit... Navigationally is a word. I've just made it up, but it counts, right? Oh, hang on. I don't know. Or was that just... It is a bad... Is it a bad guy? My guy's fire. No, it's not. But they are. Ah, so... Yeah, so they're shooting. So... Ah. So I was like, shit, have I missed someone? No, they're just over there. Apparently they can see through the dense forestry. I cannot. They must have that realistic G.I. Joe Kung Fu grip in action. Get out of the drink, then. I didn't realise that the water was going to play such a part in this. Because I can't help but notice 
that, um, it's not so much a problem for their rifles. They got upgrades. Right. I would like an on-screen count, I'm not going to lie. I don't know if I go as far as to say I want radar. It's just like I said, I'm worried about stragglers. Leave no man behind, and by that I mean not my guys picking them up if they die. I mean, I don't want to leave anyone alive. I want equal opportunity, murdering bastard. Don't ya? Yes. This is epic. How did I never play this? So many people speak so highly of this. Probably because I was Mega Drive boy back in the day. Because, you know, that's how I rolled. I had standards. I like my arcade ports to look like the actual fucking arcade game. <laughs> Anyone else? Can I blow you up? I don't know. Can I blow you up? I just hold it down. I don't have to... Hey! I think that's because I, I moved. I've got one blow left. Shit. Hey! So now we see what happens to the recruits. Yeah, you just hold fire down. You don't have to tap it like me. I, I don't know why. I didn't, you know, hold it down to work that out. Lost in service. Mission two. Stew. Jules. Oh, they're dead. Yeah, you see, lost in service. So that's the blokes who are dead. Good to know. Right. So I don't know how many levels there are, but I imagine this must get absolutely insane. And do they get vehicles, boats, shit like that and stuff? Do I get brass pots, Right. Well. There you go. Uh, just a look. More recruits. Yeah, there's something very lemmings about that. Yeah, so. Uh, oh, look. See? He's given me four new guys. So a very, very quick go of cannon fodder. Uh, on my A500 Mini, but the version that runs on the CD32, again, I'm assuming the difference between this and the regular Amiga version is just the fact that it's got CD-based music. I don't know. If you had this back in the day, I'd love to know what you think. Uh, were there any differences between the variants? You know, um, is this, what, what do they do in the sequels? The sequel bear? How are the other ports, such as the Mega Drive? And thank you very much for watching. I'll see you later.